Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Mariners and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Mariners is Rob Dressler, whose record is 9 and 22 with a 7.14 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Milt Wilcox, whose record is 13 and 4 with a 4.33 ERA. And so yesterday we got absolutely clobbered by the Mariners. Uh, the uh, starting pitcher, uh, Rick Russell, he went five innings strong, only gave up a run. Six innings started and our bullpen just got crushed. So uh, yeah, we're not looking too good here in the last four games. We'll take a look at the standings real quick. Uh, New York already sent it against us. We're nine games back with four to go, so that, it's over for us. Um, Texas is down to its last chance, so if uh, California wins today or any time in the next four games, it is over in the West. In the National League, Montreal has closed it out, and we have a barn burner in the West with Houston and LA, LA be, being uh, 1.5 games back. So we shall see how that plays out. Let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and subscribe. 1981 is right around the corner. We're going to have some innovations uh, for that season, which was a strike-shortened season. Uh, let's take a look at today's bullpen. Uh, everyone is available. I uh, added Morris Madden as a lefty, as we had a couple players who... Uh, we're tired after yesterday's game. And the lineup versus Rob Dressler, who's a righty. Uh, we got Gibby in there in left field. We put Dan Gonzalez back in there at the DH position. Uh, Hebner's back at third. Marino in center field. Otherwise, everyone else is pretty much the same. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the Mariners lineup. Batting first and playing first base is Julio Cruz. Batting second and at third base is Kim Allen. Batting third and at DH is Juan Benitez. Batting cleanup and in left field is Ricardo Sainz. Batting fifth and in center field is Dave Henderson. Batting sixth and catching is Bud Bowling. Batting seventh and in right field is Joe Simpson. Batting eighth and at shortstop is Spike Owen. And batting ninth and at second base is Harold Reynolds. On the mound for Detroit is Milt Wilcox making his last start of the season. 13 and four. This is his 20th start. He missed a whole month. Uh, with an injury and so if you look at his innings pitched here he needs what is that 6.17 so he needs to go 8.1 innings to qualify for the era uh title which i mean he's not going to get but you know to uh at least be there for it um he needs to get to 162 innings pitched uh, opponents are betting 276 against him he does have a complete game so it's not completely impossible for him to go nine. And uh, so betting leadoff, here is Julio Cruz, who rips it to right. That's one down. The Mariners are in their all blue uniform. Kim Allen up next. Allen hits a ground ball to Whitaker. There's two down. And next up is Juan Beniquez. He's going to pop it up to first, and Thompson has it for the third out. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Here is the Tigers lineup. Batting leadoff, played in second base, is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second, and at shortstop, is Alan Trammell. Batting third, and at first base, is Jason Thompson. Batting cleanup and catching 
is Lance Parrish. Batting fifth and in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting sixth and in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting seventh and in DH today is Dan Gonzalez. Batting eighth and at third base is Richie Hebner. And batting ninth and in center field today is Omar Marino. Pitching for the Mariners is Rob Dressler. 36 start, he's lost 22 games. That is a record for this period. Uh, Brian Kingman lost 20 games in 1980, uh, which of course did not happen in this simulation, but uh, 22 losses <laughs> is by far the record. A 7.14 ERA. He's given up 177 runs, 324 hits. He's given up 30 more walks than strikeouts, and opponents are batting 336. 18 well pitches, seven complete games, and he does have a shutout. So let's give him that. So we give our lefties in there against the righty Dressler with uh, Sweet Lou batting it off. Lou's going to pop it up to short, and Spike Owen has it for the first out. So one down. Who's Trammell? Two for two with a walk against Dressler this year. Oh, he hits it deep into right center field. And there's his 20th home run. The fourth Tiger to hit 20 home runs this year. And maybe the least likely as uh, JT steps in. He's going to bloop it in there for a base hit. It falls in in front of uh, the center fielder, Henderson. And we have Thompson on first base. One down. Lance perishes up. And he's going to bloop it into left center field. Oh, it's going to be caught by the left fielder. And uh, that is the second out. Up next is Gary Hancock, probably the team MVP. As uh, Dressler box, and then Hancock shoots it to left. It falls in front of Signs, and that's a double as it gets by him. Hancock takes second base. It's two to nothing, Detroit. And a chance for Gibby to drive in a run. Ground ball to third. And that is the third out. So we go to the top of the second. 2-0 Detroit. Rookie Ricardo Sainz, 18 years old in this game. And Wilcox walks him. Sainz hit his third home run yesterday. As uh, they've taken him and put him in the cleanup position. Dave Henderson hits a little blooper. Into right field, caught by Hancock. There's one down. Next up is Bud Bowling, who's been batting a lead off the last two games. Wilcox throws a wild pitch. Signs is now in scoring position at second base. And there's a base hit to center field. That'll probably score Signs. No! Signs has to hold at third. And that'll bring up the lefty, Joe Simpson. So one down, runner, oh, at first and third, and a base hit past Thompson. Simpson has himself a two-run double. It's two all. I was thinking about playing the outfield in, but I didn't do that because I thought we could turn two, and that just was not going to happen. As Owen pops out to short, there's two down. Number nine hitter, Harold Reynolds, chance to give the Mariners the lead, and he does. Bays hit the left field, and it's 3-2. to two. So it's safe to say that Wilcox is not going to make it into the ninth inning as he walks Cruz. Uh, Cruz is a second baseman playing first today, of all things. As uh, Wilcox is at 32 pitches with, with Kim Allen. Allen hits a ground ball to third, and that'll end the inning. So... The Mariners put a three spot on the board, and they lead three to two. Dan Gonzalez leads off the bottom of the second. He's got himself a base hit. He's betting 364 in limited duty here in the uh, month of September. Hebner's up next. Just a ground ball to short. There's a double play. So Hebner's not doing himself any favors to win the third base job for next year. 
And so I'm thinking about turning it over to Tommy Brookins or maybe looking for a free agent. Uh, Omar Marino flies out to center field. We go to the top of the third. Juan Benitez leading off the third inning. And Benitez hits a ground ball to first, one down. Next up is that 18-year-old, Ricardo Sainz. It's a fly ball in the right center field. That's two down. Then we'll leave it up to Dave Henderson. Hendu strikes out. So one, two, three inning for Wilcox, which is something that he needed desperately if he wants to at least get to the fifth or sixth inning. We go to the bottom of the third, and Wil uh, Sweet Lou strikes out. It's the first K for Dressler. One down for Trammell. Ground ball to short, and Owen makes the play. Two down. And here's JT. He gets a ground ball to second. And a 1 2 3 inning for Dressler. Go to the fourth. 3 to 2, Mariners. Bud Bowling hits a line drive down the left field line. He's got himself a double. Runner in scoring position for Joe Simpson. Fly ball to center field. Will Bowling tag up? He does not. So Bowling stays at second base for Spike Owen. And Owen hits it to the worst bag. He hits it to short. So Bowling's got a hold. So two down. We're going to pull the outfield in for Harold Reynolds. Keep the ball in front of the outfielders. And Reynolds hits a line drive right back at Wilcox. And that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Here's Big Will, Lance Parrish. And Parrish hits a line drive to center field. Caught by the center fielder. It's one down. Parrish, only 14 home runs in this simulation. In real life, he hit uh, 30 in this season, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. As Hancock pops it straight up to the catcher, Bud Bowling, two down. Here's Gibby. And Gibby gets a base hit to center field. It gets past the center fielder, and Gibson has himself a triple. So a chance for Dan Gonzalez here to drive in the tying run. And he hits the ground ball to second. That'll end the inning. We go to the fifth. Mill Wilcox at 55 pitches. So he's kind of pulled it together here. As uh, we're at the top of the lineup with Julio Cruz. Cruz hits the ground ball to second. One down. And Kib Allen gets a base hit to right. So... We already know Allen's got a lot of speed. He's got uh, 78 stolen bases here as the season winds down. So he could get to 80, maybe even in this game. Benitez hits a ground ball to second. Wow, we turn two with uh, Kim Allen at first. So we'll take it. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Richie Hebner leading off. Ground ball to third. Oh, the third baseman boots it. An error on Allen. So we're going to sack Bunt. We're going to sack up against uh, Dressler. Oh, okay. And so Omar Moreno, uh, not up for the task as he strikes out on a 86-mile-an-hour fastball. I could lay down a Bunt with an 86-mile-an-hour fastball. And Whitaker's going to head into a double plate in the evening. Oh, no, it's a only get the lead runner. Somehow Whitaker beats it out. Maybe it was too slow. So uh, here's Trammell, who's got his uh, 20th home run. He's 3 for 4 with a dong against Dressler. And he's going to hit a lazy fly ball to right. And that will end the inning. So we go to the top of the sixth. We're going to flip it over to the in game stats. Not a lot to look at. I guess we have to give it to Trammell at the halfway point with the home run. Uh, the player of the game, that is. So Wilcox is going to face Sines, who pops it up to Whitaker. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. Next up is Hendu. He's going to bloop it into right center field. Fall. Oh, I thought it was going to fall in for a hit. Caught by Marino. Henderson over 3 with a K. 
And here's Bud Balding. They dropped him down in the order. He's two for two. And he's three for three with a base hit to left field. So Wilcox is at 84 pitches. This might be his last batter. We'll see here if we can get him out. Nope, base hit to center field. So that'll be it for Wilcox. We're going to bring in a lefty to face uh, Spike Owens. Uh, a lefty would have better opportunity to get him out. We're going to bring in Morris Madden, who's uh, in there today for a couple of the players who pitched uh, excessive innings yesterday. And Owens will fly out to left center field. That'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the six. Tigers can't get anything going now against a 22-game loser. Jason Thompson hitting a fly ball to center field. Henderson has it. One down. Next up is Parrish over two today. And he hits a ground ball to Owen. There's two down. That will leave it up to Hancock. One for two with an RBI. Batting 325 versus righties. Ooh. A frozen rope. Right at shortstop, our second baseman. And he drops it. So an error on Reynolds with Hancock on first. Let's see if Gibby can keep the inning alive. Uh, ground ball right to the first baseman. And that will end the inning. So we go to the seventh. And uh, we're going to let Morris Madden pitch to uh, these two switch hitters. Hill Reynolds will lead off the inning. It's a line drive to right. Hancock makes the play one down. Who Leo Cruz walks. Oh, man. So that'll be it for Morris Madden. We're going to bring in a righty. We're going to bring in... It's the seventh inning. We're going to bring in a Replogal, who has just been nails. He's got 15 Ks and 16 innings. This is his uh, 13th appearance for the season. Opponents are batting 203 against him. So, I mean, he's due for a bad outing. Let's see if he can handle Kim Allen. Nope, Kim Allen's going to bloop it into left center field. Cruz will take third. And uh, we got to pull the infield in now. Juan Beniquez is up. <laughs> he shoots it right past Thompson. That makes it 4-2. to two. And it doesn't change the fact that we still have to pull the infield in. So Replogle's given up two hits in a row. And uh, that's a fly ball to right field. That'll score the third run and the uh, 65 win Mariners are crushing Detroit 5-2 to two. our bullpen has been total crap down the stretch this last uh, month, month of September has been just horrible which is why we're a couple games under 500 we go to the bottom of the 7th Gonzalez hits a fly ball to center field there's one down Next up is Hebner flying out to second base. That's two down. And it's going to leave it up to Omar Marino. Hey, there's a base hit for the number nine hitter. One for three. I mean, I would normally steal, but there's no point. I mean, we're down three runs. We need to get a rally going. And Whitaker's not the player to do it. He goes 0 for 4 on the day. He's been pretty bad down the stretch. We'll take a look at him real quick. Yeah, betting 265, he's fallen apart. He's betting 228 in his last 20 games, so not a good look for Whitaker. He's probably tired here down the stretch. We're going to let uh, Replogo pitch to Bowling. Bowling hits a fly ball to center field, and then I'll bring it around to the lefties, so... Uh, not a great outing for Replogle. He was due for a bad one. And we're going to bring in Dave Rucker. Had a really good outing uh, in uh, the first game of the series. And Joe Simpson hits it to deep center field. Falls short of the warning track. 437 feet. Not good enough. Here's uh, Spike Owen. 0 for 2 against Rucker. Batting 143 overall versus lefties. He strikes out. 
we go to the bottom of the eighth, they're going to bring in a defensive replacement. They're going to bring in John Moses to play right field. And uh, Dressler at 94 pitches. Um, is suddenly Cy Young at 9 and 22. And Trammell strikes out. And there's one down. And Thompson is the second out. And I'll bring it up to, uh, bring it up, uh, Lance Parrish, who's 0 for 3, and he's got himself a base at the left, and an error will get him to third base, so he somehow manages a double, and then stretched it into a triple when the left fielder booted it, and then Hancock pops out. We go to the ninth. We're going to let, um... Rucker face Reynolds and Cruz. Base hit for Held Reynolds. That's 10 hits for the Mariners. Runner at first base for Julio, and he walks him. So, Rucker not capable of getting three outs in the major leagues. Speaking of shitty pitchers, let's bring in Bob Stanley. Let's see if we can turn a Make a, well, a ground ball with 89 and a 90 and a 95 speed. So a double play is not in the works. A ground ball to second. Prove me wrong. Nope. They can only get the runner at first. So Kim Allen's out. Runners at second and third. They'll pull the infield in for what it's worth. Try to keep it within three. Uh, Beninquez trying to help us out. We'll pop up onto the outfield grass. Caught by Thompson, and it'll be up to the 18-year-old. He was 0 for 2 with a ribby, and he strikes out looking. So good job by Bob Stanley. He helped us do things right. Here's a Gibby leading off the bottom of the ninth. Ground ball to second. Gonzalez, 1 for 3. Ground ball to second. And Richie Hepner. A blooper base hit into right center field. And uh, the only Tiger that doesn't have a hit is Sweet Lou. So two down for Omar Marino. And he hits it right back to Dressler. Who gets himself a complete game. Wins his 10th. And just makes us look bad in general. We're now 10 and 13 in September. The best we can do if we sweep the Rangers, it's go 13 and 13. That's pathetic. Uh, so, wow, the, the Dodgers get the win, and they close to one game with three games to go. That is exciting. And California closes out the Rangers. Both teams lost, but the Rangers had to win out, and that'll end that. So we know it's going to be New York versus California Angels of Anaheim, California, North America, Earth, Milky Way. So that should be fun. Let's take a look at transactions. Nothing of note. Pull up the box score, feel embarrassed about it, and then we'll move on to the last three games of the series as the Rangers come to town. Appreciate everyone following along. Um, I just keep getting more and more subscribers. It blows my mind. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope I'm entertaining. I hope the games are uh, somewhat meaningful. As uh, Wilcox takes a loss, 13-5 and five on the year. Ends the season in a poor, poor fashion. Madden gives up a run. Replogle gives up a run. Uh, Trammell gets his 20th home run, which is uh, surprising. Uh, his career high was 6 coming into this season. So he hits uh, 20 home runs as a 22-year-old. Dressler gets a, the win, 10 and 22. So that'll do it here from Tiger Stadium. We'll be back tomorrow against the Rangers. Until then, everyone, have a great night.